Uh, my name is Jiwan Min and I'm an assistant professor at the Puchan St. Mary's Hospital, the Catholic University of Korea. Hemodialysis is um, a way of a treatment to purify the blood of your um, system when your kidneys are failing and no longer doing their job. When you have kidney failure and your kidneys are not working anymore, there is excess fluids, um, excess electrolytes, um, excess salts in your body, and these in the end um, cause uh, fluids in your uh, lungs and um, excess fluids also cause swelling in your body. So um, the dialysis method is to replace what the kidney cannot do anymore and um, remove all these excess fluids and salts and electrolytes from the body and um, basically make you comfortable. In the dialysis machine, there is a special filter called a dialyzer and a special um, liquid fluid, a washing fluid called a dialysate. Um, so blood is drawn from your body and then the blood is filtered through the dialyzer in the machine and um, through this uh, filtering um, um, excess fluids, uh, uric molecules, the waste products that are made through muscle uh, metabolism, um, these excess molecules are uh, removed from your blood and then the blood is returned back into your body. So um, the wastes are dissolved into the dialysate fluid and this is um, in the end thrown away. Because large amounts of fluid um, and large amounts of blood have been drawn from your body and is being filtered um, through the machine, um, needles are put into your um, fistula. It's um, a, a vessel a reconstruction um, surgery that is done before hemodialysis started. Um, so because we have to put needles into this fistula, um, there is obviously pain, um, but most patients get used to it after a while. Also during dialysis, large amounts of um, fluids and electrolytes are removed from your body. So there is an intermittent uh, short terms of uh, fluid imbalance and um, low blood pressure also. Um, so you may feel nausea, dizziness, maybe muscle cramping and headaches. In which case the dialysis care um, nurses are always there to um, take care of your symptoms and help you um, if you have um, these complications. Because hemodialysis is performed intermittently, you aren't on the machine 24-7. So um, you have these fluids, excess fluids and um, electrolytes um, stacked up in your body until you go for the dialysis session. So um, dialysis is usually performed um, three times a week, four hours um, every session, so 12 hours in the entire week. Usually your kidney is working 24-7, 365 days a year, but um, dialysis is only performed in short intervals. So um, you have all this fluids and um, excess um, uremic molecules all retained in your body until you go for the dialysis. So you have to, in between the dialysis sessions, you must try not to um, retain too much fluids because by the time you go for your um, dialysis, um, the fluids will, if there is too much excess fluids, it would be, um, it would, um, cause swelling, um, shortness of breath um, in severe cases, and also it um, would cause a strain to your heart um, because of too much excess fluids. So um, basically we um, uh, refrain our patients from drinking too much water, taking too much fluids, and um, also if you take lots of salts, um, then you also need more water. So um, we uh, refrain our patients from taking too much salts and also electrolytes such as um, potassium and phosphorus. Um, these also, um, they accumulate in your blood and your, in your system. So we refrain our patients from taking too many foods with um, a lot of potassium and phosphorus. First of all, because the hemodialysis patients must take care of their fistulas or um, grafts that is used um, to, for dialysis, Basically, this is their lifeline, so they must take good care of their lifeline. Um, they should check regularly for infections, um, redness, wounds, um, heating sensation, um, scratches, and they must always keep their fistulas clean. And then also, there's also the dietary precautions that they must keep in between the different sessions.